हेलो आई योगेश कुमार लेक्चर इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन द कोर्स टेलीविजन इंजीनियरिंग सो टेलीविजन इंजीनियरिंग इन टेलीविजन विजन इंजीनियरिंग टोटल मार्क्स इज हंड्रेड मार्क्स आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड मार्क्स टेन मार्क्स फॉर टीचर असेसमेंट ट्वेंटी मार्क्स फॉर क्लास टेस्ट and 70 marks for external exam and this course consists of 8 unit and these are the 8 units now we will see one by one each units first of all we will start the first units means introduction to the television engineering first we will see the what is the meaning of the television Tele meaning of the television is to see from a distance. Means if we see any picture from from a long distance, that is called television. So this is the meaning of television to see from a long distance. Other meaning of the television is TV is the transmission of picture information over an electrical channel. So this is the meaning of the television. Tele means distance and vision means देखना. So tele to see from a long distance that is called television. Now first of all, uh, when the television come in picture. So when the CRT was invented, after that this is the major breakthrough for the television. When the CRT tube was invented. So first camera tube is the name of the first camera tube is. Iron no scope and first TV broadcasting started is 1935. Ah, uh, first TV in the world, first television started in 1935 and in India, ah, uh, TV broadcasting started in 1959. So you have to remember in 1959, ah, uh, first time TV broadcasting started in India. now tv global standards they are the three global standards of the television first is pal ntsc and ccan so these are the three standards of the television pal ntsc and ccan first of all we will see the ntsc standard so ntsc the full form of the ntsc is national television standards committee the full form of the ntsc is national television standard committee first used in the north or the and central america, america and japan so in north america and central america it was first used then tv broadcasting sorry in the ntsc standard there are 525 lines of horizontal resolution suppose aapke paas koi notebook hai to usme number of lines diya rehta hai how many number of horizontal lines to so, according to the notebook number of horizontal lines depend karta hai similarly tv standard mein tv ke jitne standards hai usme ntsc mein aapko jo tv ka jo screen rehta hai usko hum logo ne usko jo divide kiya hai 525 lines of horizontal mein divide kiya gaya hai So this this is the 525 lines of horizontal resolution means जो TV का screen है NTSC का NTSC system का standard का उसको 525 line में divide किया गया है NTSC system runs at the 60 hertz of the vertical frequency means what is the meaning of that means one second में ये 60 times रिपीट करता है ओवर एक स्क्रीन को 60 टाइम्स रिपीट करता है 60 साइकल्स पर सेकंड मींस मींस 1 सेकंड में जो इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम हम लोग आगे पढ़ेंगे इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम एक पिक्चर को 60 टाइम स्कैन करता है 60 टाइम स्कैन करता है मींस 1 सेकंड में 525 लाइंस का जो पिक्चर लाइंस का जो स्क्रीन है उसको 60 टाइम्स क्या करता है स्कैन करता है एंड इट ऑपरेट्स एट 110 वोल्ट वोल्ट्स ऑफ एसी नेक्स्ट इज द सी कैम नेक्स्ट इज द सी कैम सो सी कैम नेक्स्ट इज द 
next is the c can first of all we will see the c. now next standard is c can so the meaning of the full form of the c can is sequential a memory sequential a memory it is uh, the first of all it is used in france iran iraq for, for in this country first c cam was used this c cam uh, this standard consists of 625 lines of horizontal resolution in the previous slide hum logo ne dekha tha ki ntsc system standard consists of 525 lines ntsc standard but c cam in cam 625 lines of horizontal resolution आपको क्या करना है ये सब रिमेम्बर रखना है कि एन में कितना नंबर ऑफ ऑरिजेंटल लाइन है सीकेम में कितना है और पाल में कितना है दिस सी कैम रन एट फिफ्टी हर्ज ऑफ द वर्टिकल फ्रीक्वेंसी मीन्स इट रिपीट फिफ्टी साइकल्स पर सेकेंड एंड इट ऑपरेट एट टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी होल्ड ऑफ ए फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज एडोप्टेड इन 1967 हम लोगों ने एन देखा था दैट ऑपरेट्स एट 60 हर्ट्ज ऑफ द वर्टिकल फ्रीक्वेंसी बट सी कैम ऑपरेट्स एट द 50 हर्ट्ज ऑफ द वर्टिकल फ्रीक्वेंसी एन टी एस सी इन एन टी एस सी फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव लाइन ऑफ द ओरिजेंटल रिजोल्यूशन बट इन सी कैम सिक्स हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव लाइन ऑफ द ओरिजेंटल रिजोल्यूशन and it is adopted c cam was adopted in 1967 now next standard is the pal next uh, standard is the pal the meaning of the pal is phase alternative line this is the full form of the pal phase alternative line in uh, the objective in uh, mcq type it sometime it is asked in the exam what is the full form of the ntsc what is the full form of the c cam what is the full form of the pal ya yeah, uh, at which frequency it operate or how many horizontal line in the different standards it was first invented in the germany it was first invented in the germany it is used in the europe africa australia south america and india so इंडिया में हम लोग कौन सा यूज करते हैं पाल सिस्टम यूज करते हैं पाल सिस्टम हम लोग इंडिया में यूज करते हैं पाल सिस्टम आल्सो कंसिस्ट ऑफ 625 लाइंस ऑफ द ओरिजेंटल रिजोल्यूशन मींस सी कैम और पाल का दोनों का कितना है 625 लाइंस ऑफ द ओरिजेंटल रिजोल्यूशन बट इन एन इट इज मैं बार बार रिपीट कर रहा हूँ इन एन टी and in cam and pal 600 and 625 lines also pal operate as the 50 hertz of the vertical frequency and operating voltage is 234 volt of the 230 volt 230 volt of ac these are the global electricity standards so these are the in australia in australia and india 234 volt 50 hertz देखिए आपके घर हम लोग के घर में जो आता है पावर सप्लाई वो यही रहता है 230 volt 50 hertz frequency और different country में ये different standards है so television system in television system monochrome system monochrome system divided in divided into three standards first is 525 line American second is 625 lines line european and third is 890 line french so monochrome tv system ko three part mein divide three standard mein divide kiya gaya hai 525 american 625 european and 890 line french in uk first jab invent hua tha uk mein to 450 line tha बाद में उसको चेंज करके 625 लाइन कर दिया इंडिया यूजेस 625 मोनोक्रोम सिस्टम ये एग्जाम में बहुत बार पूछा हुआ है ऑब्जेक्टिव एग्जाम में कि इंडिया में कौन सा सिस्टम यूज होता है तो कौन सा यूज होता है 625 बी मोनोक्रोम सिस्टम इन इंडिया इट इज यूज नाउ स्टैंडर्ड दिस इज द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ द 
कलर टेलीविजन सिस्टम इससे पहले हम लोगों ने किसका देख रहे थे मोनोक्रोम टीवी स्टैंडर्ड का नाउ अभी क्या है कलर टेलीविजन सो इन कलर टेलीविजन आल्सो डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स एनटीएससी पाल एंड द सी कैम एनटीएससी वाज डेवलप्ड इन द यूएसए इन द 1953 and adopted by the Japan and Canada ये NTSC NTSC जो color TV standard है उसको US ने develop किया था in the 1953 और ये use कर अभी कौन कौन use कर रहा है Japan and Canada use कर रहा है National Television System Committee the full form of this is National Television System Committee second PAL the full form of the PAL is phase alternation by line it was Invented by the Germany and invented by the Germany or reduces color display error. जो NTSC में जो color display error आ रहा था, उसको पाल में क्या किया गया? Reduce किया गया और इसको adopt किया गया by the UK, Australia and Spain. And pal also used in the India. India में भी use करते हैं. क्यों India में use करते हैं? Because pal is compatible with compatible with 625B. That's why in India it is used PAL. CCAM sequential or memory. It was invented in. It was invented by the France France in 1967. Deciding factor for adoption. Why? I mean, like, how did this country come about? Japan ne NTSC adopt kiya. Australia ne PAL. India ne PAL adopt kiya. And baaki jo country hai ne usne CCAM adopt kiya. Compatibility with the already existing monochrome system because India में पहले monochrome system क्या था 625 और 625B and six and PAL is compatible with 625B monochrome system that's why India adopted the PAL color TV standards in other country also according to the compact compatibility other country accepted the or adopted the NTSC system or the CCAM system. Now bandwidth, frequency band and the coverage. So bandwidth in the TV broadcasting around 7 megahertz bandwidth is used. In America 600 megahertz, British 8 and France 14 megahertz. Frequency bandwidth. First of all, started in very high frequency band and its range is 41 to 68 megahertz and 174 to 230 megahertz. ये exam में question पूछता है कि what is the range of the frequency in very high frequency band and after that in ultra high frequency band range is 472 819 megahertz. So these are the two range. One is very high frequency band and other is ultra high frequency band. The in TV broadcasting. It is limited to limited to the line of sight distance means 75 to 140 kilometer, but it is extended by the relay station or the satellite combination means line due to the line of sight it is limited to the 75 to 140 kilometer, but by using the relay station or by the help of satellites we can increase the distance. That's why we can see the any event organizing in Mumbai and we can see from the Madhuvani or if the any event organizing in UK then we can see from the India but due to the help of relay station or the satellite system. Now elements of the television system the fundamental aim to extend the scene of sight beyond its natural limit along the sound associated with the scene. The, this, what is the main purpose, purpose of the television? So this is the main purpose of the television to extend the sight of the means we naked eye se kitna kilometer maximum dekh sakte, one kilometer maximum dekh sakte hai. but with the help of television we see the life event from the even thousand kilometer. So this is the fundamental aim of the television. Now we will continue this slide in the next video.